All right, today I'm going to show you how to build this three and a half kilowatt hours, 36 volt uh, power box using the scooter batteries. I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do it, what you need to get, uh, and then a step-by-step. -step. All right, let's get busy. So here's what you'll have to get to complete this project. Eight of the scooter batteries, PVC shrink, shrink tube. It's come with the top and bottom of the case and the two sides, then the front, right? There's two pieces, the metal and then the plastic. Then it's gonna come with this guy right here, which is a ring terminal to uh, male XT60s. Then the uh, 36 uh, volt battery meter. And then eight of the XT60 female connectors. Then four of these little wires, uh, two red ones and two black ones and then six uh, eight actually eight of these uh, white ones white wires and that is this is all you need to put this uh, battery together here's the first step we're gonna have to prepare the eight uh, scooter battery modules right what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this uh, rubberized compound that's around it and then we're gonna remove the two original connectors because these are too long they're too stiff and so it makes it really hard to put in the box so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it with these guys xt60 female connectors that you receive so the first thing that we're gonna do is remove the rubber compound that's easy put it on the side and then the, these sides are really easy you just use that screwdriver <laughs> From the top, you start working your way just from the sides. You see that? It just comes right off. Right, next, what we'll need to do is clean these pads right here. They have this white glue, gooey compound in there. We need to take that off. And then here's what you're going to do. You're going to cut the red ones. Then you're going to cut the black one, the thick black one. But then the skinny black one, you're gonna cut it way over here. You're gonna leave a longer edge right there, right? And then the three, the, the blue, green, and, and yellow, you also cut them with a little bit of slack there. Here we go. And the reason why you're doing this is because we're gonna use this smaller black cable and we're going to, to uh, jump it over here. See how the light started turning on? This is so that the battery can turn on. Uh, this needs power every time this battery goes to hibernate or hibernate state in order to wake it up it this needs to see power and so if we don't do that then once inside the box you once this goes into hibernation you won't be able to get it back on if you don't do this so we have to do that and then obviously positive here and then negative there and then we just have to solder those right and there we go this is finished right this one positive goes to the positive negative to the negative and then the other little one jumps over to c minus then this white one right here is only attached to the blue one it's only connected to the blue one and then the yellow and the green are just there and i shrink to that just so that they would be out of the way and maybe in the future you want to use the green one to get information back from the from the battery right but for right now we only need the blue one and we extended it by using this little white cable so now after you do that you got to do the other seven battery modules okay once you get them to this step we're we're gonna have to cut these little tabs here so that they don't do this they just stack better uh when you remove those so we're gonna have to remove them all you have to do is use just a regular sharp um blade to cut those right so after you cut those tabs now they sit nice and flush here they don't wobble so then we're gonna use captain tape to go around and do two bundles side by side do two of these and then we'll put this ones on top and then go around all four.
Okay, next step is to wrap them in uh, this blue PVC wrap. So now that you have your batteries made like this, now it's time to figure out how to put them in the bottom portion of your box, right? I'm gonna use double-sided tape. This is like a cushion tape and I'm just gonna tape the top here and then gonna flip this around and then secure them in here. Okay, next what you're gonna have to do is install the battery meter in that hole there. There's, uh, it fits just snug enough that the holes hold, that the screws hold on the sides of that hole there. And it's, it's a nice tight uh, fit. Next, what you're gonna have to do is solder two black wires and two red wires on the positive side and the negative side. Also, you could just, instead of doing that, because this requires a lot of heat, so if you don't have a decent um, soldering iron, then what you can do is put a ring terminal and then in, you know put it in here. But you could also just solder like this if you have the thing, right? And two of those are gonna have these little spade connectors, the spade connectors that came with your meter here and what you do is once you put this guy in here all right then this goes on the positive and then the black one goes on the negative there we go and then these Two, the two remaining ones, those are going to go into the Arduino. That's how we're going to power the Arduino. And then of course, uh, next you can put this guy in here. That's got eight of the male XT60s into these ring terminals, right? And then you're gonna have to screw those in here. This, the right side, when it's facing from the inside is the positive and the left, is the negative so you screw there make sure these are tight because those are going to see up to 200 amps what these uh batteries are capable of doing so yeah these have to be tight okay so this is how you wire the arduino here you go from the negative and the positive and two wires come out and then they go through the dc to dc right it's, this is what's going to make the up to 42 volts of this battery right here all the way down to five volts, which then the Arduino can use. So then you just have to make sure that you isolate this either by putting some Captain tape or putting some shrink tube. Uh, there's many ways to isolate this so that it doesn't uh, short out inside that box. The only thing that you will need is to leave the TX, right? That one right here this pin right here you have to leave that open so that you can connect a wire and then connect it to all the eight wires from all the eight uh, modules okay now that we finished the, the front cover here it's all wired it's got the arduino now and these are now uh you know double-sided tape to the bottom there now it's time to connect all of these into all of these, right? And then after we do that, then we'll screw it from the bottom and we'll attach the front to the side, to the bottom here. And then we'll, uh, after that, we'll connect this cables to the blue one here on the Arduino. Uh, and after that, we just have to cover, put the other covers in the top and finish it off. There we go. It's like a lot of cables in here, but then, get pushed in there it's, it's gonna be tight
this is now attached to the bottom here we just put this cover back in there now it's time to connect the signal wires I'm just gonna cut there at the same length as the shortest one okay now we just put the rest of the covers in here and then we test it here's the order you gotta do you have the bottom now you'll do the top and then last you will do the sides because the sides go on the outside so here we go we'll first start with these two screws and then we start putting the other ones Here is the very simple wiring diagram. I will have links to all the products that you need and also have a link to a 36 volt inverter and a 36 volt charger so that you can use your 36 volt battery and then charge it off of the wall. Uh, also possible is charging via solar, right? By using uh, a solar charge controller that can do 36 volts. This type of battery can be used to power anything that is 36 volts, including golf carts, uh, forklifts, as long as you stay within the power levels that this battery can supply, right? So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you can build one of these and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.